Alright family, it's your ghetto news reporter Mary Lee Dash. Tune in Mary Lee. Today is October 19, 2019. So they say, I can't let these bitches get away with this shit. Look, I'm in fucking goddamn Village Crossing. I used to uh, sell streetwise at the jewels right there. And because some bitch made motherfucker that knew me, that worked there and shit, went and told the damn manager and shit. And they told me I had to leave and shit back in the day. And now I know why. Because this here say 1984. You see? See? 1984 is when I gave Oprah Winfrey my child abuse story when I was 17 year old, years old. And I came back from Vision Quest, the East Coast Wagon Train Program. I left my Cadillac shoes in Dick's Sporting Goods store a couple of years back. You understand what I'm saying? I was out here with my ex-girlfriend, Nawanda Joy Jacobs, one time, and this white guy that I used to buy mu movies from at a uh, flea market, you know, said, what you doing all the way out here? Shit. I'm like, what the fuck you doing all the way out here? This is where the Native Americans reside. So they follow me, as you can see. 1984. I can't even afford to get a decent fucking grocery list together. Because these motherfuckers keep going up on the prices. I went to the Goodwill store. It used to be this color right here. Nothing happens in this world by mistake and stuff. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Show you. Let me show you. It used to be this color right here. You can't rob God, right? And I tried to get some socks. They had $4.99 on their back in black and white. But some of them had $1.99. You understand know what I'm saying? On the front, right? And it looked like this. But somehow, magically... God damn it, disappeared or whatever. See, it's that, all that magic shit they got going on and shit. See, they not doing God's will. They doing magic. They doing magic. See, Park Ridge or whatever and stuff. And me and uh, my ex-girlfriend, the one that Joy Jacobs came out this way and bought music back in the day from the uh, secondhand CD place or whatever and stuff. But nothing happens in this world by mistake. They say, uh, birds of a feather flock together so I was wondering how you know Donna Marie Evans you understand what I'm saying met my family but it took almost 10 years for Luana Joy Jacobs you know to meet her and that was like towards the end of the railroad you see the super cuts see Donna didn't want to pay for the haircut back in the day I almost got me in trouble when I was a teenager when I first met her you see the dear Franks I just bought some goddamn Frank hot dogs and shit. You understand what I'm saying? For 98 cent plus tax and shit. You understand what I'm saying? See? We funding these motherfuckers and shit. I'm not supposed to be paying anything. You see my goddamn birthday right here? You see that? See? You see how they fucking use me up? See, but I got a hell of a motherfucking Christmas list, nigga. They call it the impossible Christmas list. In AA, that's what they call it. I flipped my um mother's birthday or shit death date either way somebody got paid you understand what i'm saying in aa today i opened up the telephone book they said this is the original telephone book and i made sure they was watching and i showed them 323 the uh month she posed had died march 23rd you understand what i'm saying in 2000 i didn't get shit out the deal and now they working on me and i'm working on their ass too because we all gonna go this time for real don't follow me and think you could outdo me so yeah they have taken over the uh goodwill store you understand what i'm saying in skokie and that's why skokie railroaded my motherfucking ass you understand what i'm saying may 31st 2008 well you know after all the fucking so-called you know processing went through but y'all see the motherfucking shit 1984. Let me show you again for you unbelievers. Man, there go trouble. 1984. Right here. See? Seeing is believing. Now, if I was the police, you understand what I'm saying? There'd be a lot of people arrested right about now. Because my story ain't gonna never change. And they hate. See, they, they wanted my money, but they didn't want to pay me. They want to take over. But they don't want to, you know, pay me for the work I've done. They call it free labor. I call it the devil is a lie. That's what I call it. So when you sign up for these banks and things of that nature, 
they got a way of, you know what I'm saying, taking your signature, you know, doing, you know, credit, credit card fraud and stuff. And that's why they're trying to turn everything to the uh, plastic. But it's cash and carry with us because we don't cheat. And this is my birthday right here, May 1967. And I was six years old when I stood up for myself in 1973. So I didn't even know the spirit had led me here back in the day. And I was standing right here selling general merchandise. But because people knew my story better than me, you understand what I'm saying? They went in there and told the manager or whatever, and I had to fucking leave. That's the honest to God, it's true. So they in here copying movies. They copying keys. You understand what I'm saying? And you wonder how your house get broken into. And, and without a trace. But see, they leave what you call strands of hair behind. I was in Wilson, uptown, and I always found white hair in my bed. See, people be obsessed with you. Real so. You understand what I'm saying? And by me being worth the most, they feel like they can get the most for less. But the devil is a lie. This is going to lose support of Mary Lee. That's to the Mary Lee. Pass this video on. It's not that same old song this time. And with that, peace.